Hi, in this video we'll learn how to reduce the fractions into the lowest term by using the GCF method or we can call it the greatest common factor method. Uh, but before we start with an example, uh, I want you to please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like. Also share it with your family and friends and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of my latest uploaded videos. Let's start with an example here. Um, 36 over 45. So to reduce this fraction to the lowest terms, what we're going to do is we're going to use the GCF method. First of all, we're going to write down the factors of 36 and then we're going to write down the factors of 45. Let's say 36. Okay, so here let's start with 36. Let's list down the factors of 36. One is a factor of 36. One is a factor of every number. Two is a factor of 36, right? Because um, 36 is an even number, so obviously it's divisible by 2. So we can say that 2 is a factor of 36. Then how about 3? How to check whether this number is uh, whether 36 is divisible by 3 or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 36, we're going to add the digits. So 3 plus 6, okay, 3 plus 6 is going to give me 9. Okay, so for testing, for checking if a number is divisible by 3 or not, what you have to do is you add the digits. So if the sum of the digits is equal to a number which is divisible by 3, then that whole number is divisible by 3. So since we have added the digits here, the sum of the digits is 9. Since 9 is divisible by 3, this whole number 36 is divisible by 3. So that's the divisibility rule for 3. So we can say that 3 is a factor of 36 <clears throat> because we checked that with using the divisibility rule. Now, how about 4? Is 4 a factor of 36? Yes, it is because 4 times 9 is 36. So I'm going to say that 4 is a factor of 36. How about 5? No, 5 is not, be, not a factor of 36 because we, for in order to be a factor of 5, you should have, the number should end at 0 or 5. So 36 is obviously not a factor of 5. How about 6? I know that 6 is a factor of 36 because 6 times 6 is 36. So I'm going to say that 6 is a factor of 36. Then, Okay, 7 a factor of 36? No. 8 is a factor of 36? No. How about 9? Yes, 9 is a factor of 36 because 9 times 4 is 36. So I'm going to write here 9. Then 10 is not a factor. 11 is not a factor. 12 is a factor because we know that 12 times 3 is 36. So we're going to say that 12 is a factor. And then... Um, uh, we can, we can divide this, if you divide this number by 2, 36 divided by 2 is going to give you 18. So I'm going to say that 18 is a factor of 36, right? Because uh, 30, if you divide 36 by 2, you're going to get 18. So basically, you're, you have 36. If you divide that by 2, you're going to get 18. So I can say that 18 is a factor of 36. And then the last one, which is a factor of 36, is obviously 36. And now we're going to stop because we have listed down all the factors of 36. Now we're going to find out the factors of 45. Let's write down the factors of 45 here. Obviously, 1 is a factor of 45, right? 2 cannot be a factor of 45 because 45 is not an even number. So we're not going to check that. Okay, 2 is not a factor. How about 3? We have to check this number if it's divisible by 3 or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the digits. 4 plus 5 gives me 9. I got 9, and 9 is divisible by 3. So I'm going to say that this whole number, 45, is divisible by 3. So we're going to say that 3 is a factor. 4 is not a factor, right, because we have all uh, even numbers in the... Um, in the multiplication table of 4. So obviously, um, 4 is not a factor. How about 5? Yes, it is a factor. Uh, how do we check if a number is divisible by 5 or not? So let's say if I have a number, let's say if I have a number 25. If I want to know this is divisible, well, this is easy because you can say that 5 times 5 is 25. But if I make it 125, how are we going to find out that whether this number is divisible by 5 or not? What I'm going to do is I'm going to check the number which is at one place, if that is 0 or 5, then that whole number is divisible by 5. Okay, so let's say if I have, let's say if I have 1,000, 1,000, how do I know if this number is divisible by 5 or not? I'm going to check the ones place, the number at the ones place, the number at the units place, that's 0. 
If the number is 0 or 5, then that whole number is divisible by 5. And you can check it by dividing it. So here, 45, we know that 9 times 5 times 9 is 45. So we're going to say that 5 is a factor of 45. Then 6, no, because um, uh, a number is only divisible by 6 if it's divisible by 2 and 3. This number is divisible by 3, but it's not divisible by 2. So, obviously, 4 cannot be a factor. Okay, how about 5? We got that 5. Okay, sorry, I just uh, went back. Okay, we got 5. Then we're going to see 6. How about 6? Um, yeah, 6 um, is not a factor, as I said, because um, it... In order to be a number to be divisible, in order for a number to be divisible by six, it has to be divisible by two and three. So obviously six is not a factor. Seven, no, because we don't have 45 in the multiplication table of seven, because seven times five is 35 and seven times six is 42. So now I'm going to say seven, eight, no. How about nine? Yes, because nine times five is 45. And then, uh, 10 is not a factor, 11 is not a factor, 12 is not a factor. You can look at the multiplication chart if you have and see if you have 45 in the multiplication table of 12, 13, 14, or you can just go ahead and multiply and check. And then after this, we can say that 15 is a factor because 15 times 3 is 45, right? And then what else? Let's think about this. Okay, what else? Um... Okay, 16, no, we don't have 45 in the multiplication table of 16, not in 17, not in 18, not in 19, not in 20. I'm not going to go that far because I know that if I go, like, say, let's say, if I if I say 20, then 20 times 2 is 40, which is close to 45. But I'm not going to go that far because I have to stop at 36. Why do I need to stop at 36? Because I'm, I have to look for the common factors. If I go beyond 36, I'm not going to get the factors in common. So I will say that the last factor is going to be 45. Now, I can, I can stop here because the last number here is 36. And we're looking for the common factors, the greatest common factor what we can have. Now, we're going to look for the greatest common factor. What is the, what is the greatest common factor which is common in both? Let's see, what factors do we have common? We have a 3 common in both of them. They both have 3s. And then we have 9 common in both of them. What else do we have common? That's it. Obviously, 1 is common in both of them. So the greatest, we're looking for the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is 9 here, right? 9 is the greatest common factor. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this. This is the GCF, or we can say that's greatest common factor. We're going to use this GCF to reduce this fraction into the lowest terms. So let's go ahead and divide the numerator and the denominator by 9. So we're going to divide this. 36 divided by 9 and 45 divided by 9. So we're going to divide these, um, this fraction with 9 in the numerator as well as in the denominator. Now we need to think... 36 divided by 9, well, that's going to give me 4 because 36 divided by 9 is 4. Now, 45 divided by 9, and that will give me 5 because 45 divided by 9 is 5. So I can say that, I can say that 36 over 45 is equal to 4 fifths, right? I have reduced this fraction into the lowest term. And I got 4 over 5, and you can see that I cannot reduce it anymore because 5 is a prime number. So um, if I end up with a prime number in the numerator or else in the denominator, I cannot reduce this fraction anymore. So that's the, that's, uh, that's the signal that I have to stop. So my final answer is going to be 4 fifths. Final answer is going to be 4 fifths. So you can use this method, and this is called using the GCF, the greatest common factor method, to reduce the fractions into the lowest term. There are other methods as well, and you can check out my other videos to um, look for the other methods. Thank you so much.